Welcome. This is my first YouTube video and this is regarding my journey from an All India rank of 450 in GATE Computer Science 2019 to a 39th rank in 2020. In this particular video, I'll be focusing on my 2019 attempt, the mistakes that I did there and my decision to write again in 2020. So the story, it dates back to July of 2018. So this was the period when I had really developed this intense desire to do my masters in the Indian Institute of Science. And in order to achieve that, I needed a very good rank in GATE. Now, before I start with my preparation, I had to make three major calls. The first one regarding the source of learning. Second one on notes. And the third on practice. Let's see one by one. Source of learning. For this, I have chosen Ravindra Sir's lectures. And when I saw the whole repository, I was quite sure that this covers the whole syllabus and according to my plan at that point of time, if I complete the whole videos by let's say the end of January, I'll be knowing about the whole syllabus and I'll be in a good position to achieve a good rank. Now, coming to the second point, notes. This is quite interesting because I have decided to not go with notes. Why? This was my justification that if I write notes, I'll be able to complete the whole syllabus, that is the complete set of videos, and I'll be able to prepare notes. This is in the best case, because at this point, I was already working in a corporate company, which meant I had to give nine hours there. So it's only the remaining time that I have for myself. Now, think of the other side. What if I don't prepare notes? If I don't prepare notes, I'll have enough time to complete the whole syllabus. Now, the extra time that I'll have to write notes, I can put this time to watch the videos of those areas which are tougher for me to grasp and I can understand the concepts better. Now, I'm very sure that there will be many areas which I won't be able to grasp in one go. So, watching it again and grasping the concepts better seemed to be the better pick. So, I went for not writing the notes. Now, the third one, practice. Coming to practice, I was not very sure of what to do because I was not having a clear idea of what amount of practice I need to do. So, I decided that I'll complete the whole syllabus and once I complete all the videos, whatever time I'll have in extra, I'll do practice. But what eventually happened was that as I completed the syllabus, it was already January. So then the only time left was for revision. And now this takes me to the final dilemma that I had. And this was the greatest issue that I faced when I prepared for GATE 2019. That is, how do I revise? In the last week, when I wanted to revise, I didn't have any options because I haven't prepared notes. Now, in order to revise well, I need a good source of revision. Normally, notes are the ones that serve the purpose. Now, for me, I didn't have notes and I didn't have any source for revision. So finally, what did I do? I resorted to looking through all the headlines, headings in the e-classes website and putting my level best to recall the contents of those videos. Now, this was the point when I realized that there were many videos whose content I was not at all able to recall because there were many portions which I had covered in July or August which I had forgot. So, at this point, it became really difficult for me to recall the contents of the lectures by simply looking at the headlines. So uh, I decided to 
skim through those videos which I'm not at all able to re record and the other videos I just skipped. Now came the big day, the day of examination. Uh, I knew that there were certain portions which I did forget and major portions I was quite clear of. Not very clear but still I had some sort of idea of the major portions. So with this confidence I went for the examination, wrote it but as soon as I completed the examination I was quite sure that I won't make it to the top 100. So this would make my aim of reaching IASC very tough and I had to make what next plans. So this was the point when I started analyzing the mistakes that I had done because if I have to write again in gate 2020, I should know what are the mistakes that I committed this time and whether those can be rectified. Now I went through each of the mistakes. The first one regarding source of learning. Source of learning was right. I did pick the right one. But I did underestimate the competition. Simply going through the videos once, that would really not serve the purpose. Now I have to go through the videos again and prepare notes. This was the solution. Now the second point, it was regarding notes. What mistake did I do? Not writing notes. And now, is this under my control? Totally yes. Can I rectify this the next year? 100% because I am the one who has to do this. Third one, practice. Coming to any competitive examination, practice is of prime importance because you may know the entire syllabus, you may know theoretically, but you need to see the questions. You need to know how questions are framed and you need to be uh, uh, well managed with all those things then only you can perform the best in examination now again this is totally under my control and I can rectify this the next time so I know the three reasons of failure and I'm pretty sure that I will do this right the next time so I decided to write again now the next week I planned for a journey back home now, this was an overnight journey in a Volvo bus. So, I didn't sleep this night at all. The whole journey, I was there in the bus. I was thinking about the, all the pros and cons of my decision. How all well it can help me positively and what all negative effects it can have in my life. So, these were the conclusions that I reached. First, I'll tell about the pros. First thing is that I achieve my aim. Now this one was good enough a reason for me to put aside any sort of cons that come against. So this was a big confidence booster. Now number two was that if I repeat Kate, if I write again in 2020, I'll be working one more year in the corporate world, which would mean I'll bag one extra year salary and this can help me to stay self-sufficient during my masters. So this was surely a big positive for me. Now coming to the third point. At this point, I was in a quite a good health regime in my office. After office, I used to go to gym every day. So if I continue this for one more year, I saw this as quite a positive term for me. Now there is one more reason. That is, presently the rank that I have is 450. Now, my aim is nowhere near this, so I'm surely not going to accept 450. Accepting 450 is not at all a reason for me. So I kept that thing aside. Now I have two options. One is to write gate again. Second one is to see for some other career options. Here, writing gate again is a very feasible option because I already know half of the syllabus, maybe more than half of the syllabus. So it's an easy option for me to write gate again. So I took that call because I know all the reasons of failure. I know I can rectify. I got enough pros as well. Now, last part, cons. What are the negative sides that I have if I write gate again? So I thought about this. 
the only thing that I found was that I lose a year. Now coming to this point, all my friends who are around me in the corporate world, they are utilizing their year by working. Now I am working as well. So how am I wasting my year? The great rank that I am going to score is only an added positive for me. So I have got enough reasons now. And today, because I got a 39th rank, I can confidently declare that my decision was right. So this is my story and this is how I reached the decision to write Geek again after my initial failure in 2019. Thanks for watching.